Hi guys, it is January 26th, it's a Friday, and um, I'm actually taking my second terzepatide shot today. I forgot that it is uh, every five days instead of every seven days to start with. I mean, you can, you can change the injection days, like some people if they're over, if they're very sensitive to it, maybe they want to push it out more or um, split the dose. So instead of doing five milligrams, let's say they'll do 2.5 one day, wait like three or four days, take the other 2.5 and then just kind of rotate them out like that. But what I'm doing is just the, um, every five days, I put it in my calendar. Thank goodness. Cause otherwise I probably would have thought it was tomorrow. Um, I weighed myself this morning and it was 269.8. When I weighed myself on Monday, it was 271.4. So not quite two pounds between Monday and Friday, which I don't feel like I've been eating that much food. So I'm honestly a little surprised that it's not more than that, but they do say, you know, two pounds a week, it's healthy. And this has not yet been a full seven days and it's almost at the two pound mark. So I will take it. Um, I am going to go ahead and finish off the um, the remaining 2.5 that I reconstituted on Monday, and I will show you that shot. And then I think next week I'll probably just go a full five milligrams instead of doing a month on the 2.5 because I feel like it's it's definitely helping. It's helping to stave off hunger and. Um, I haven't really experienced nausea um, too badly, a, a little bit that one day, um, and just really small here and there. Not like I experienced the three weeks on the semaglutide. But I think that I can probably handle 0.5, and honestly, even though they say two pounds a week, if I can lose weight faster than that, that's what I want to do. I just, I want to get this weight off me. It's ridiculous, right? So... Um, all right, I'll go ahead and show you the next shot, and I'll be right back. All right, so I am going to prep the surface of my leg. I'll let it dry for a minute. I am, uh, this looks like a triangle to me, the bloop, bloop, bloop. So I'm going to go in there. You can see that I am between the second and the third um, mark. So that's good. Alrighty. Puncture. Press. And that's it. Take it out. I have a Got my alcohol. This is the one I just wiped my leg with. I'll go ahead and just do that again for the heck of it. And that's that. Um, it looks like it's got a tiny little pinprick from where I injected. I'll take care of that and be right back. Okay, so that was my second shot of terzepatide. That was the 2.5 milligram dosage such a small amount of liquid that you're actually pushing in. It's, I want to say it's almost probably easier to do the larger doses just because, I mean, it looks like something, right? That tiny, tiny little bit of liquid looks like nothing's in there, even though it's, you know, legit 2.5 um, milligrams of something. So again, next week I'll probably do, well, I guess, it'll just depend. I have it on my calendar for every five days. So I'll weigh myself after five days have gone by. We'll see what kind of weight loss I've had within five days. Um, but if it's not to the extent of where I want it, then I will probably go up to um, a five milligram dose next time. And I'll show you guys once again what it looks like to reconstitute the um, you know, the dried powder form and how to do the measuring and all that kind of stuff. All in all though, I feel good. I, uh, I, I did have, um, dinner last night. So I had, you know, some food earlier in the day, some chicken wings and yogurt and some chips and, um, 
some tuna salad earlier. I did have some stuffed mushrooms yesterday. It was just the mushrooms that were filled with a little bit of cream cheese mixed with um, some browned sausage, Italian sausage. And um, I did a little bit of cream cheese with it. I did some Parmesan, a little bit of garlic, minced garlic, and then onion powder, mix that all together, and then stuff the mushrooms at 400, let it cook for, bake for 15 minutes, and you have yummy, yummy stuff. Um, it was maybe even, it was a touch salty, because I did put a little bit of salt in there with it, and I had the Parmesan, which is salty on its own, so... I, it's been it's been a minute since I've made stuffed mushrooms, so next time I probably will not do the salt, but I don't feel like I overdid it. Um, I didn't feel sick afterward, so that was nice. And I did drink a fair amount of water with it as well, so I have no idea what was going on the other day when I drank that water and didn't feel well. Who knows, right? Um, I finished my uh, antibiotics yesterday. So I don't have to deal with that anymore. I am still taking a probiotic. It says just to take once a day, but I do have um, problems going to the bathroom. So I will probably continue taking them twice a day, see if that gets things moving. If not, I know that some people swear by something called MAG-07, I think is what it's called, or MAG-X or something like that. I don't know, it's from Amazon. So I might look into that to get things moving along. Um, at the same time, I have magnesium oxide here, and that really makes you run for the bathroom if you take a little bit too much of it. So I don't really know that I, I don't know, maybe I threw that stuff out. I don't know. It just kind of seems silly to spend money on something when I have something that could pot potentially be the same thing, right? So, and then also, I've had doctors say, oh, yeah, well, you just take Miralax once a day. Even though on the container it says, you know, if you're having to use this more than seven days, consult your physician. And But I'm having physicians tell me, just go ahead and take Miralax every day. I don't know. I hate relying on um, medicine, which is the ultimate irony that I'm taking these peptides to try to be healthier. But medication in general, I my mom was super crunchy. You know, she was all about the holistic um from the earth type things before going to medication. And a little bit of that has stuck with me. So I do try going for natural um, ways and remedies before I turn to medication. So I don't necessarily want to have to take um, Miralax every day just to go to the bathroom, but I've had this problem since childhood basically. So it's, it's definitely considered chronic constipation at this point. And I probably should do something about it. I probably would feel better on a regular basis. I don't know. Maybe TMI for you guys. And I'm just rambling about my life now. But it is what it is, right? So, all right. I am um, no big plans today. I, I gotta say, I smell amazing today. There's this website called, I think it's called perfumeoil.com. And basically, they make clones or duplicates of popular, super expensive fragrances. So I bought one. Well, I bought a lot of them, but one of them is called Spiritus Double Vanilla. And I'm not sure what it's a duplicate of, but holy hell, it smells amazing. I smell so freaking good. I love the scent. It, I just, it smells so good. But this particular one is super strong. So I have to be judicious where I place it on my body. I can't have it on my neck or on my wrists because then it's, it's too much. It's too much. It's a very strong scent. So I have to get crazy, like, you know, behind the knees and under my boobs and all this kind of stuff. So like, I still have body heat that's allowing it to release, but it's not just so much in my face because I'm super sensitive to fragrances. I love fragrances. You guys would not believe the amount of like body sprays and perfumes and just everything that I have, but I want to smell good on a minimal basis, kind of, you know what I mean? Like, I, I, it can't be too strong. It's just, it makes me nauseous. So I don't, I just want to tell you guys, I smell amazing. If you guys would be here, you'd be like, damn girl, you smell good. And I'd be like, mm, I know, right? So, all right. That's just my little bit of sharing, uh, cause I'm all about the sharing. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. See ya.